Welcome to Tampa. This is the first of several major videos we will be doing of U.S. cities, mostly in the Northwest. However, we start today in one of the hottest growing cities in the Southeast, our home base, the Gulf Coast city of Tampa, Florida. In this video, we'll be taking a look back as well as a look ahead. Downtown Tampa with a skyline that will be changing in the next few years. Tampa is the central city of the Tampa Bay region, which encompasses four counties. The Tampa Bay area has over 4.5 million residents, which includes the metro area of Sarasota as well. Tampa has a tropical climate. Yes, for five months out of the year, it can be pretty hot and humid. Really no need for a weatherman in the summer because the forecast is always the same. Highs in the low 90s, lows in the upper 70s, chance of afternoon thunder showers. Because of the humidity, the low 90s can easily feel like 100 or more. However, another five months of the year, late fall, winter, and early spring, it is like heaven. Although hurricane season is from June to November, realistically, it's really mid-August to late September where you really have to be paying attention to the hurricanes. Tampa originally grew up around the U.S. Army outpost of Fort Brook and was incorporated in 1849 as Tampa Town, with the name shortened to just Tampa in 1855. Tampa declined during the post-Civil War era, being a poor isolated fishing village. Yellow fever borne by mosquitoes from nearby swamps broke out several times during the 1860s and 70s, causing the population to decline to about 800 by 1880. No shock. Could you imagine living in this area without an air conditioner? Tampa really began to come to life in the 1880s with phosphate mining southeast of Tampa in 1883. The arrival of Henry B. Plant's railroad helped to connect this little Gulf Coast city to the nation's railroad system. We moved two miles northeast of current downtown to see what really built the city. In 1885, Vicente Martinez Ebor built his cigar manufacturing operations from Key West. Vicente Ebor built hundreds of small houses around his factory to accommodate the immediate influx of mainly Cuban and Spanish cigar workers. This helped to bring other immigrants to the region, and Tampa became the cigar capital of the world. One of those Cuban immigrants, Casimero Hernandez Sr., opened the famous Colombia restaurant in 1905 where you can enjoy some paella with some sangria. Did you also know that the Cuban sandwich did not originate in Cuba? It was born in Tampa. So the next time you are enjoying that roast pork, glazed ham, Swiss cheese, sliced dill pickles, yellow mustard on Cuban bread, you are tasting Tampa. Tampa's growth was fully evident in 1926 when the Tampa Theater opened. It was one of America's most elaborate movie palaces. It received a $6 million renovation in 2017 and is still very popular today. Tampa received a new spurge of growth during World War II when the U.S. constructed MacDill Field, today known as MacDill Air Force Base. The U.S. also built several auxiliary fields around Tampa Bay, one of which became Tampa International Airport and another became St. Pete Clearwater Airport. Tampa International Airport consistently ranks among the top five airports in North America. Very convenient. Tampa's major skyscrapers were mostly built between 1981 and 1992. One Tampa City Center opened in 1981 as the GTE Building. of America Plaza in 1986 as Barnett Plaza. A plane actually crashed into this tower four months after 9-11. Rivergate Tower opened in 1988. Its round shape was meant to symbolize a lighthouse to the Tampa skyline. Four 
Four years later, the SunTrust Financial Center and 100 North Tampa opened in 1992 as the AmSouth Building. Riverwalk Place Condominiums will be Tampa's next major skyscraper to open, breaking ground this year. It will be a 53-story building with restaurants and retail open to the Riverwalk. This is part of the transformation that has already been taking place in Tampa for a decade now, turning downtown Tampa into a vibrant place where people work as well as play. Sky Point Condos and the Towers of Channelside were constructed in 2007. Sky Point is currently the 10th largest building. In the towers of Channel Side near the Florida Aquarium is the 11th largest. This is just the beginning, however. Tampa's new Water Street, a downtown development, is reinventing the downtown core of this growing Gulf Coast city, appealing to a dynamic urban lifestyle. It will double the size of Tampa's current downtown and is a radical change for the skyline of this city by the bay. Water Street is a 50-acre district that will feature retail, offices, homes, hotels, culture, and education with the USF Health Morsani College of Medicine and Heart Institute. Water Street encompasses an area from the Tampa Convention Center to the Florida Aquarium with Sparkman Wharf and Amelie Arena in the middle. Water Street promotes a healthy, modern living culture for people to walk, meet, and enjoy year-round activities. It will have 13 acres of new and enhanced parks and public gathering spaces. The plan is for 23,000 people to live in, work in, as well as appealing to the tourists and the cruise port and many events at the Tampa Convention Center. Another area in downtown with major redevelopment is the Tampa Heights District. This project has taken a once declining community and turning it into a beautiful waterfront entertainment area Anchored by the Armature Works building, attracting visitors with unique eateries, a public market, and a waterside park. A great way to move around downtown Tampa and see the sights as well is the Pirate Water Taxi, a two-day unlimited pass for as little as $25. Also, the historic Tampa streetcars, which run from downtown to Ybor City, are absolutely free to ride. Can't beat that. Downtown Tampa has something for you, whether you are just visiting to board a tropical cruise, or working in, playing in, dining in, going to school in, or even getting married in. Well, that about wraps up our tour of the city by the bay. Coming soon in the next few months will be Minneapolis, Milwaukee, Seattle, Portland, San Francisco, Los Angeles, and Denver. Subscribe to our channel for all the latest videos on the excitement of Tampa Bay. Tampa Aerial Media provides stock footage from not only Tampa Bay, but across the USA. Thank you for watching.